Hello, my name is Lone Jobber, but you already know that because you're listening to this message. And realistically, if you're listening to this message, most likely you're seeing it on the YouTubes or the Twitters or the CB radios. And you may know this face more recently now, thanks to my lovely little segments this past week. Or maybe you're a long time fan and enjoyed my segments back in the day, such as Lone Jobber Celebrates Kwanzaa and what is Kwanzaa? Well, here's the thing, folks. My, I am running for president of the CB Radio Party. And for the past three weeks, give or take, I've been having the thrilling fun of making segments for you, the viewer. However, for the last three weeks, I've also waited for somebody, anybody, to do anything. And they still haven't. So I've taking it upon myself to just do it, because that's fun. I'm enjoying this. I was told that Big Daddy Ace, the Boston badass himself, was going to do some fun little segment or whatever. I checked on the Twitters, didn't see anything, so whatever. I mean, maybe he doesn't want to push it there. I haven't seen it on the Facebook, it hasn't popped up on my feed, whatever. Maybe he's waiting for a additive on Sunday or Saturday. It's Sunday morning, usually. I also heard that the next Core Soldier Subway was going to be doing his own little segment. Yet again, apparently these segments are all being waited on for CB Radio. Guess what? I'm not going to wait. I am here because I want to have fun. This is fun. Hey. And they're not doing anything, so I have to. I can play some video games. That would be very easy for me to do. Hey, send a shout out. What game do you want me to see? Play. Because, hey, Lone Jobber, he's going to make video games great again. Because Lone Jobber cares. But then I started thinking about it. That's not what I want to do. Not right this time, right, at least. Because I want to have a little bit more fun. That's the name of the game. Fun. The question is, what am I going to do for fun? Well... Let's talk about pot, shall we? And Subway's going, oh, crap. He already talked about pot with me. Yeah, we already know about the whole Florida thing. And yes, that's true. But if Subway wants to actually go and make getting high great again, maybe you should make getting high legal. Just saying. It'd make it easier to get high. Make it easier to make it great. And I find it amusing that I'm the one who's going to have to bring this all the way up since I'm probably, maybe, most likely, the only one of us four who doesn't actually smoke weed at all. Who's never actually done that. So, hey, why not? Why not do this crazy thing and actually go and talk about their segments because they're not? So here it is. Lone Chopper makes, weed, er, makes getting high great again because nobody else will. Hmm. Maybe I'm going to do a segment about being a part-timer next time. Maybe not. I don't know. Because this is fun. I'm having fun with this. So, uh, let us do one little fun thing. Let us bring up a map. All right, there we go. America. No, that's actually Canada. We're going to have to actually put the American uh, map up there. There we go. All 50 states. That's amazing. Now, in these great 50 states... Federally, no, we cannot smoke the weed. And honestly, I'm going to be real with you here. I don't advocate one way or the other. I just find it fun that I'm going to be using Sub's whole gimmick against him. So, let us bring up the states where it's actually legalized to smoke the marijuana. Okay, and as that scrolls up, or I really hope so, we've got Washington State, Colorado, Oregon, Alaska, and the District of... Columbia, Washington, D.C. Ah, look at that. It's a good shot for the, you know, the Northwest area. And oddly, Colorado. That's just really weird. And I, I don't even think they're, the dots even going to show up on D.C., so don't even worry about looking about that. Now, that is all the states where it's actually legal for you just to smoke wherever. Well, not wherever, but, you know, it's legalized. Not medical, just full-on legalized. But because we're going to be talking about that, let's zoom over the other states 
where it has been legalized for medical purposes only, be that actually just giving it out for pot or uh, cannabis oil. And those states would happily include Arizona, California, Connecticut, Delaware, Hawaii, Aloha, Illinois, Maine, Maryland, Massachusetts, hey, there you go, Ace, Michigan, Minnesota, Montana, Nevada, New Hampshire, New Jersey, New Mexico, New York, that's a lot of news, Ohio, Pennsylvania, so, uh, hey, Rock, you never know, Rhode Island, and lastly, Vermont. It's a lot of states. I believe it was like 25 states all together, which has had some type of medical or legalization overall. Now then, there are ballots on this year to make the pot legal. Because, hey, I figure, what's the best way about making something great if it's illegal? Now, mind you, federally, it uh, it's still against the rules federally. So if you're going to go for a, a president, and, and that's a main concern to you, go for one that will actually keep the uh, the laws going. Because I actually haven't looked on these crop of people, but let's be honest here. The, D, uh, the Drug Enforcement Agency is really only just being held in at bay. And that could end, and all this could just come tumbling down, because it is still, was it like a Schedule 1 drug or whatever it is? So now then, let's get back to the map where it was just the states that were pure legalization. Okay, now then. These are the states that will soon enough be voting this uh, on the 8th, Election Day, in less than two weeks. It's amazing how time flies. Let's go up first with the big one. We're going to start with a big boy here. California. Prop 64 the Adult Use of Marijuana Act. Now, this one will allow for the possession of one ounce, of, one ounce or eight grams of cannabis concentrates and six plants. So that's actually, to me, that sounds like a lot. I don't know what, what it is for everybody else. But, you know, that's actually the big one. If you get California, then you're going to have the entire West Coast being green. Uh, that's, again, Prop 64. If anybody is out there and wants to make America getting high great again, that's the one you need to go yes on. Coming a little farther inland, Nevada, which, as you remember, does have a medical allowances. Well, they're going for question two, the initiative to regulate and tax marijuana, also known as the Regulation and Taxation of Marijuana Act. Uh, that one will allow you possession of one ounce of Mary Jane or an eighth of an ounce of concentrate. And it, it, you can buy it, but if you're out in the boonies, I believe it was uh, 25 miles away from any retailer, then you will be able to grow up to six plants. So again, that is Nevada question two. Let's go over to Arizona, which again does have some medical allowances. Uh, Arizona, they have the Legalization and Regulation of Marijuana Act, also known on your ballot as Prop 205. You're going to want to say yes to this one because uh, it allows the possession of one ounce of marijuana, six plants, and whatever is grown on those plants. I believe the one ounce may be like if you're out somewhere else, if it's just on you, not in your household. That's how the majority of these seem to come out. Okay, now that we've talked about Arizona, let's go over to Maine. Because Maine has the Marijuana Legislation Act on their ballot, known as Question 1. It allows the possession of two and a half ounces of marijuana. That's actually, I believe, the, major the most on this entire list that's coming through here. I don't know how that compares up to our current standards, but that is actually the highest one that's on the ballot this year. It also allows you to have six flowering plants, 12 immature plants, an infinite amount of seeds, and whatever grows off of your plants. So you can have all that. That's a lot to me. That does seem like a lot. I don't... To me, it does. And for Big Daddy Ace, 
Question number four, you're going to want to say yes to because it allows for the possession of one ounce in public or, you know, not at home, basically. I believe that's how it actually went. Ten ounces at home, six plants, and whatever you produce from those plants. So, ten ounces at home, damn. Damn. All right, now here is where we go out to the medical usage. There's a few states this year, uh, four states in fact, that are trying to pass a ballot for medical usage. And like I told you earlier, one of these states is Florida. Yes, Florida, home of Subway. I look, Georgia's not on this list at all. Damn, uh, Rob. Damn, not even on medical. Okay, so Florida, as I said before, uh, it's Amendment 4, I believe it was. No, 2, sorry. Sloppy handwriting. <laughs> uh, Amendment 2, it allows for legalization. I've already talked about this one previously, but this is actually what spurred me on this, because Subway, who's really all about the pot, didn't ever care to talk about how to get the pot legal. I want to help you out here. So, November 8th, Follow these rules if you want the pot. But until then, and after then, vote Lone Jobber. Because he's actually helping you out. He's your buddy here. He's your hookup. So that's uh, Amendment 2 in Florida. Arkansas has the Medical Marijuana Cannabis Act, known as Issue 7. Issue 7 allows for medical uh, usage, doctor approved, and allows for some growing. Now, that is just an act. It's just a law that they would be passing. Uh, Arkansas also has the Arkansas Medical Marijuana Amendment. That's issue six. Now, the difference between issue seven and six is that six is a uh, state constitutional amendment, and that would make it binding to the state constitution. A lot of people are saying, oh, and it would also allow it to be... Um, fallen under the Arkansas Alcohol Beverage Control Board. But uh, that's, a lot of people are saying that because there's two of them on there, that it's probably not going to pass because it's just, it's weird like that. It's, they're competing for attention and they probably won't both pass. So get out your vote if you're in front of Arkansas and want that, uh, want to smoke a doobie tea in the paint. Next up is North Dakota. Now, I was actually looking through. There are some that passed and some that didn't. But apparently, only on North Dakota, you have the North Dakota Medical Marijuana Legalization Initiative, also known as Initiative Statutory Measure 5. There was multiple initiatives that tried to get on the ballot this year. I believe this is the one that actually made it. So that's uh, Initiative Statutory Measure 5. And it will allow you to have, have it for medical reasons. I, yeah, I, I had to go through a few, few different ones because there was revisions. I didn't really, couldn't really find out too much about uh, Measure 5. So if you want, if you're in North Dakota, I would seriously go and look at this one. Because it's North Dakota. That was like the weirdest one, I think. And this is the most interesting one because in Montana, it is, you remember me saying, Montana does have legalization. However, back in 2011, the legislature, the, you know, their Congress and whatever, they made it a lot more difficult to get uh, medical pot that the voters had approved in 2004. So on the ballot this year is I-182. That's almost right next to a terrible radio show that nobody here should ever listen to. That would allow, that would reinstate basically the older uh, 2004 voter-passed initiative for medical marijuana, rolling back the uh, the legislation, uh, 2011 changes to it, which made it harder to get it. So that means that if everything goes well for all you stoners out there, we would have Alaska, Washington, Oregon, California, Nevada, Arizona, Colorado, Maine, Massachusetts, and D.C. as fully legalized. Now, I want to remind people, 
you really, when it comes to this, you have to make sure you vote in other people. You have to make sure you're going to vote in your representatives that are actually going to be, you know, pot friendly. Because there's sometimes where they're going to be complete asses about it. Uh, you, that's if you. This is what you want. If you're seriously against pot, then I would suggest n to vote no on these. Then, but that would not make getting high great again. And that, of course, is me, Lone Jobber. And apparently, that timer says that I'm out of time. Thank you, and I'll talk to you all later.